Right. So how long has it taken us? Two hours. Two hours, what time? Wait. What time is it now? Uh, I don't know. Uh, probably about two o'clock, something like that. Four hours? Yeah. So you join me at Thorpley, Callum. Coming from 48 and uh, yeah, we've uh, we rocked up here at 10, 10 o'clock. That was the opening time at the gate. It's now quarter past one. So now we've, I think we're fishing both rods. We've got two rods fishing now. Uh, it took a while to find some clear patches in the weeds. Um, but you want to fish confidently, don't you? Yeah, both. I'd rather be fishing on time I'm over. Yeah. Weed. Both on solids with the 48 hour. Hopefully one of us is going to pull something out. We've already seen a couple, like a lad over the other side, he's uh, pulled one out. I reckon, he, I think he was fishing to the island. Oh, that's what we're talking about. I have not eaten anything, like I said, since, well, nothing today. I just had a protein shake, like half six in the morning. God, I can't wait to get that going, mate. Yeah, yeah what, that's not the smartest thing to do, mate. Yeah, buzzing for this session. Thought these are uh, quite renowned for good hits. First 48 of the year. So we're running up, mate. It's going to be warm as well. That's yeah, the exactly sun's amazing. lovely. I'll get sunburnt, mate. <laughs> I do, mate. I'll get sunburnt. I'll get sunburnt in... Um, when did I get sunburnt last year? Yeah, it's March. That's embarrassing. I will. I'm, I'm surprised I'm not caught the sun now. <laughs> Milkiest guy going. But yeah, as you can see, so Callum's fishing to the islands. Um, you've got both rods up there. Yeah, just off of it. Yeah. Of both rods, about two rod lengths off the island. I've got one of mine to the right hand side of the island just past it about 17 and a half wraps well just on the edge of it actually to be fair and then the left one's in middle found a nice little neat patch in the middle about 10 wraps but yeah it's a nice place this isn't it nice yeah. big nice big double swim there's a lot of people on there there's a lot of, a lot of swims oh, yeah, yeah. Too many. it's oh, too <laughs> how does that happen <laughs> yeah it's um it's busy it's a full packed out lake Obviously, you fish quite close to each other, but it's nothing different from linear or anything like that. So, if you're used to that, it's no problem. And everyone seems nice enough at the moment as it is. So, important thing first. Now that we've got the rods out, let's get a feed on. <laughs> we're, just talking, we're just talking about topical things, you know. There's a, Every fisherman should know about. Oh, what, what did you just buy then? Nothing. nothing. There's nothing, there's no shame in it. One of the old Ridge Monkey Portapoo things. What what, Portapoo? Yeah. Cozy. Cozy, I think. Ridge Monkey. Cozy? What is, is it comfortable in your eyes? I'm using it. Yeah. Dark and light. Fishing on the I'm shitting in a bag. Did you shit in a bag? And I missed the bag. You missed the bag? <laughs> yeah. I didn't no. like dog turn it up. Oh, it's awful. Did you use your hand? Did you use your hand? Use a bag. Oh, you put a bag on your hand and then. <laughs> Wait, was this in your bivvy? No, it was it was on the side of the bush. I did it mate, that's time. risky, mate. Yeah. That's risky. And every time you shoot, piss, the uh, piss will up your trackies. Oh, so you're, you're yet to christen the risk one, dude. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're gonna christen it this trip. I don't know. If we go to the car, we might as well go to the toilets. They're not too bad. I went for a pee in the portal there. They're not linear, Stan. <laughs> no. They're not linear standard. Lin well, can you imagine how many people fish in linear? And they don't flush out those toilets often, do they? <laughs> so it's, it's just a massive just build up. Literally see what the most common like dinner item is on the bank. <laughs> you know? The lack of corn. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Callum noticed my rod pod was uh, a bit wonky. So he's gone over, he can't handle that at all, so. How dare you touch my rods? How dare you? That'll be the first and only time. Callum's very generously given me this coat. It's not camo, so he knows I'd like it. Just went in the pocket. I couldn't write this, mate. <laughs> My missus was wearing a jacket. <laughs> You're blaming your missus, are you? Yeah. I don't believe you. This is, look at the size of this jacket. Your missus is not wearing this. <laughs> this is going to be our lucky chump, do you know what I'm going to do? The tampon brings us luck. There you go. 
go. Come on, tap on. Right, so that's both rods out for the night, I think, isn't it? You got yours all right? All set, all done. Happy days. Yeah. Not really much has happened so far. We've had a couple of bleeds, but and obviously seen the fish crashing, but yeah, unfortunately no fish to report as of yet. But yeah, so both are solids, one in the middle, so about 10 wraps, the other one right by the light island. <coughs> about 18, 17 wraps, I can't remember now, top of my head. But yeah, just leaving that now. If any luck, we might uh, get one. Woken up to this. That's so loud. Right, after being rudely awoken by the uh, Chuckle Brothers, I think the plan is for today. Nothing happened during the night. I think we've got another high pressure, sunny day. So I think I'm gonna put a solid bag as close as I can to the island. That's where we saw them showing yesterday. And the rod that I've got in the middle, I'm gonna put on a chod, put a bit of bait over the top, and then just leave it. With any luck, we'll get a, we'll get a hit. As you can tell by the uh, lovely condition of my hair. I'm not really a morning person. And while Callum's uh, relieving himself, just spotted that. How early can it be to have a Red Bull? It's pretty much a full can as well. Seven in the morning, had a Red Bull. Fuck. No, I've just been drinking that and I, uh, something just knocked inside my mouth. This has been left out overnight. It's extra protein, whatever it was, anyway. You can probably hear the winds picking up. It's a nice place though, it really does help you appreciate nature, the wildlife. Just animals as a whole, really. Like, I don't think, you know, when I mean, you hear some people obviously go out hunting for them, I think, I don't know how they can do that. Oh, wait, hang on. That's why they do it. <laughs> how much do vegans miss out, mate? They miss out on so much, don't they? That's why they're generally really unhappy. Just depressed people. Yeah, they're unhappy people. Because they're not eating this. Because they don't have enough people to tell them what they're Yeah. You should probably posh sausages. Not posh. Sausages are posh. Hey, no plugging, no plugging sausages on this channel, mate. Can't be plugging them unless I get a load of free sausages. Every other fisherman does it for the bait, like they do. All the, I want to get a bait sponsor. <laughs> Secretly, I'm just doing it for sausages. If I get a load of free sausages, any butchers out there want to like lend me their food on the bank? <laughs> I'll advertise their meat. I wouldn't go around saying you're pimping yourself out for a sausage. It sounds fun. That sounds pretty bad, yeah. Sounds awful. <laughs> yeah, it does sound bad. What about... Your sausage slut. <laughs> well, I'd actually say I'm probably more of a chipolatas slut. <laughs> you know, I'm at that level. I'm not up to sausage level yet. 
And then when you get really good, I suppose you're up to Frankfurt at a like, level. Like, like, Oh yes, the bacon sandwich, food of champions. It's not even shit talking. It's not shit talking. It is shit talking. It's not though, is it? You sound like a drama teacher. I am a drama teacher. That's a creative drama. Um, <laughs> it's not shit talking, it's just impressions. That's all it is. What do you what's, what's, Do one impression. Do one impression. Let's play a game. You've got to no. try, viewers, you've got to try and guess who's, who is, what fisherman is he impersonating. Do, I'll do, do the next one. You do that and I'll do the next one. <laughs> It's not a game I'm playing, Tom. It is a game. <laughs> I'll do one straight after you. No, you go first. I might, might consider you. Who can get this one? Get in the net! Bosh! Bosh! What did he say? Bosh! Bosh! Get in the net! It's so angry all the time. It's always angry. Come on! <laughs> Chill out, mate. <laughs> Come on, do, do the one you just did. No. No, I just done it's it. Good, though. Hold on. Hey, up, Cat Frank. <laughs> <laughs> I think you said it's just like it. <laughs> I'm just sitting at home doing that in the mirror for months. Me and Ali are going down late. That's coffee. Yeah. Coffee. That's coffee. No, you can't be. We can't do Carl and Alex because you get bullied. No, we can't do Carl and Alex, especially now after what we said. <laughs> By the way, what we said about him has all gone true. That's well, it was a bit awkward when they split, weren't it? I would have loved... They should have put their arguments up on the channel. How oh. awesome would that have been if they put what their arguments on? Charity boxing match. What, like Eddie and Thor? But Carl and a Alex. Carl and Alex boxing match. That, I'll buy oh. tickets. <laughs> but like, all I should do is put like, Mate, a, I knife, would, right. like a baseball bat in corner. No, 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 no. no. Keep, it, keep it like a boxing match. <laughs> but obviously the training is going to be a bit different. So if they employ me, I will show them how to keep their arms up with a boxing glove on it. <laughs> Mate, they'll struggle with that. I know. They, would, they would struggle, you know. It was, you know it was really good. Uh, Scotty Lloyd. Crap. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's, that's the victory, so. But I knew I was trying to get food sponsorships before. <laughs> Just plugging it. Yeah, I, I knew I was trying to get the sausages, uh, mate. But you, you know I mean, that's that's going new low. Like, oh, no, no. by the way, we both absolutely, absolutely love Parker Brothers. <laughs> They're legends. <laughs> love that shit. Yeah, we've been uh, enjoying his videos, watching. He's he's really good. I actually do actually like watching his videos. Shame we didn't get the time when the guy tried to nick his barrel on camera. That'd been awesome. That'd have been good viewing. Enough of you, Ben. I love you, Ben. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Ben, can I take a barrel, please? <laughs> There's only one person I think I'd love to see at a fishing show. Oh, I'm Jeremy Way. <laughs> Biologist. Marine detective. Fucking <laughs> 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 <laughs>
He is though, isn't he? He's one? awesome, mate. He's been stolen. He's from the old, you know, from Somerset. Do we get we all the best fishermen from Somerset? No, it's a lot. Do we do? It's a lot. Do we do? It's straight cold. Not a lot. Not. Name three. Violet. No, you fucking love it. Get your coffee. Chili. Chili is good. Shit, I've got to think of one more. Nathan's not Bristolian, he's, he's Oxford and he's mid. Well, that's from Kent. Is he? Yeah, he moved down to Somerset. Sorry, where? He's moved to Somerset. Right? Somerset? I think so. Why do you think he's done not that? I know his postcode. Why do you think he's gone to, why do you, why do you think he's gone to Somerset? Because obviously the best fishermen are in the West Country. It is though, isn't it? As I'm proving at this venue. Yeah, blanking. So it's about half three now, we're coming up. You know, coming up to the final day. Losing the last bit of light soon, in a couple of hours. It's been another quiet one, unfortunately. I apologize if I've got stuff in my teeth. I've eaten a pork chop like an absolute caveman. Once I get the bag, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring both rods in. Um, I don't think the shallow water is gonna be much help now in this cold weather, because the wind's definitely chilled things down. So I'm actually gonna find the deeper spots. Might put two rods on that 10 wrap mark. Um, put a bit of bait spot over the top of it, just change up a bit. Two solid bags on the 10 wrap mark and yeah, leave that for tonight and see what happens. First, my schnizzle needs a whistle. Schnizzle needs a whistle. Do you not listen to Snoop Dogg? Yes. The Snoop Dogg. So we've just made friends with the guys fishing next to us. This is little Name. It's a little Stevie. Stevie's just hooked into a fish. He's playing it really well. Keep the rod low, mate. Hey Stevie. Take a step back from the edge, mate. Yeah, watch the. There you go. There you go. There it is. Do you get the net, Callum? Let, let it run, Stevie. You got one on. Yeah, you got one, mate. You got it. How's the drag? Yeah, I've just been. It was up the tree, I got it out the tree for him. Thank you. That's alright. Do you want to grab the net? Yeah, someone's getting up. Sorry, mate. Yeah. Stevie did most of the work, to be fair. Oh, he's a nice little one. Stevie, that's it, mate. Yeah, scoop it, scoop it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's not really ready, is he? It's nice. <laughs> Nearly there, mate. Oh, hit the other line. What was that one, mate? Was that on the bag? Yeah. Lovely. There you go, get it, get it, get it. Yes! Is it? No! No! <laughs> What's it looking? He's in! He's in! Get in the net! <laughs> Oh, that's big! That's a fully? Yeah. That's cracking. big and all. Yeah. That's a 20, mate. Or high okay. double. It's a thick back on him. Is that good? That's a fully scale, yeah. It's lovely, mate. Is that that's, a good Mate, fish? that's awesome. This one. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's not 20. He is. 19. Yeah, on the dot. 19. You didn't say 19. He said 18. He said 18. I said 20. 19, isn't it? I said 20, isn't it? I said 17. So who's, whose fish is that, though? Is that yours? It's Stevie's, isn't it? Stevie's. It's got to be Stevie's. Stevie's UPB. I've eaten all the dinner, eh? <laughs>
yeah, so it was a quiet night, unfortunately, at Thorpe Lee the last night. So we're just packing up, getting stuff put down. Obviously, the last things to go out, the last things to come in are going to be the rods, apart from one of mine, which I uh, had a trailer on, so I've got a new lead. It's been really nice here. It's been really good. Even though we didn't catch, it was lovely seeing little Stevie over there put in that 19-pounder. Lovely, fully scaled. It's nice to see a fish in the bank. So yeah, I'll definitely be back. Really nice place. Management are lovely here. Um, yeah, I'd recommend it to anyone. Yeah, thanks all, and uh, I'll pat down and see you in the next one.